Mike, you were trying to make a decision about your Unraid because that's kind of how you've decided to do your storage recently. So I think the question is, what did you decide on? Because you posted that to our Facebook group. Yeah, so it wasn't actually recently. It's back when Windows Home Server version 1. I thought it was crazy that I had the way they were doing it were my movies that are backing up. I basically had to copy them twice because I didn't like the way version version 1 did it where – the way it was doing it was everything was just double if you wanted to, to back it, you know, have it re saved or whatever. So if I'm backing up all these movies and I had to do that, I wanted some other solution where I didn't have to have double copies, but yet I had protection. What Unraid does is it, it I don't know how you would translate this into a what RAID version it is, but it's got one parity drive. So maybe this is RAID 3 or something like that. One parity drive that protects the entire array. So I have, um, gosh, how many drives do I have in it? 13 drives in this in this raid, uh, including including the no that's 13 drives yeah, 13 drives a parity and a cache so that's 15 drives total in this in this um, computer. The one drive the one parity drive protects all the the storage drives. If I lose the parity drive, I it's still the, the the data drive is still good. If I lose one data drive, it's protected because of the parity. If I lose more than one drive because of the way they do it, it's not stripped. I only lose the data on the drives I lost. So it's it's um, a pretty good system, and it runs off a USB stick, which sounds crazy, but uh, it only reads a USB stick at boot up, and if you make some settings in the changing file. So it's not writing a lot or reading from a lot on the, on the USB stick. It's back – if you remember back in the DOS days where everything in one, were, were basically just a couple of files and you could update them. So if I want to go from version 3 – or version 4 to version 5, which I've done recently, I just take the USB stick out of the computer, walk over here to my computer if I want. I can just do it remotely too. Walk over here to my computer, load the two files that upgrade me from version 4 to 5, go over to, the, to that thing, reboot, and boom, I'm in version 5. I've changed the hardware twice, no problem. So this thing just runs rock solid, and it's been running since version 1, rock mm -hmm. solid. With all those drives, I've lost a drive here or there, but the data just runs. The problem I have with it, is that it is, is can be slow. You know, you're not get even with a cache drive in there. Which when the cache drive, you write to that that unprotected uh, cache drive first, and then it goes out to the um, to the parity later on based upon your schedule. Um, even with that cache drive, my write speed sometimes is slow, and I have had a problem I've never been able to get rid of. Even with various computers in the house, with various hardware versions of of Unraid and all this stuff. Where when I go to browse directories, every once in a while it'll just get hung, and you're just sitting there waiting and waiting for a directory to to, to list itself out. And I don't know what it is because I can at the same time I can go on another computer and pull up a direct that same directory. So it's almost like that one computer got paused. But I can repeat this over and over again on any computer in the house. Um, and a number of people have mentioned it. So there's a few issues like that where I've got it used now. It is my my secondary backup. I have a sync toy program running on my, my main server and just backs up to this thing um, whenever I want to, and I uh, have it backing up um, data that I don't really care to, to protect and put out on crash plan, maybe like movies and that kind of stuff that I don't really care that much about. It has uh, 20, I think I got 21 terabyte of storage in it right now, something like that. So it's, it's, it's pretty big. That's in the Norco box? It's in the Norco wow. 4020 box, yeah. You said 21 terabytes of storage in there? 21 terabyte, yeah. I need to be where you are. It can be, yeah, it can be done. <laughs> I mean, that is awesome. <laughs> have, you seen that, have you seen that Norco box? It's I, I haven't seen it, no. It's huge. Yeah, it's a big box. I mean, it's, it's loud. It's got, map too. Yeah, you've got, it's got, yeah, what, uh, 20, 20 different drive bays? 20 and then one internal, so it's got actually 21 drive bays. 21 drive bays. That's and, a lot. Uh, wow. Yeah, you can load up, you can load that bad boy up. It's loud. Yeah, it's loud. I'm going to screw this thing that's running. And I'm sure, it, I'm sure it's hot. And you know, around it, right? Hold on, Mike. Let me let me put you. Is that, is that too focus. hot? Because it, you know, the drives the, the drives sit uh, right in front of all these. Can you fans. Crunch that down a little bit so that it'll get or go into your browser settings and see if you can up the resolution, up the percentage a little bit so we can see that. There we go. Yeah, a little bit more. Keep going. Oh, want another one? No, yeah, go. Hold on. To, do do it until I say stop. Keep going. All right, stop there. Okay. Yeah, so here here you can see all of them. You can see the temperatures. Yeah, that's um, not that hot. Yeah, so actually, this is that's Celsius, of course. Mm. Uh, Obviously. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. So I have 
array of 14 discs includes including parity and, and that must also be including the uh, no it's not including the cache 13 drives in the in the array 21.5 terabytes and see, I could, I could, a lot, I still have some one terabytes and one and a half terabyte drives in there, so I could make this even more. If I could ever get past the whole uh, pausing thing, I mean, this is this is rock solid. It's it's this thing runs forever. It, right now, it's only been running 19 days because uh, I think that's when I upgraded to the version 5.05. But outside, hmm. of that, outside of that, I don't reboot it. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's exciting. <laughs> yeah, and. A lot. Can imagine what you could do with that, Seth. Uh, that's I mean All that, that video that, that you make. Cool. I know that video you're shooting is is big. Right? Yeah, video. It's it's it gets annoying. It yeah it is. <laughs> it's terribly just, big. Because just because kind of juggling stuff, I found myself this week actually going back and uh, just making sure that you know old projects and stuff were deleted. There's some stuff I know I'm never going to come back to, and yeah, I freed up some gigs <laughs> there, but uh, yeah. I think the thing with storage is. is you'll eventually use it all up. Yeah, so, I don't know. You know, I've been trying to fill up my home server for a while, Mike, and I'm well. still. All right. So I mentioned earlier that my Windows home server is starting to be filled up because, uh, you know, all the photos and podcasts and stuff. Heck, I'm producing. Um, a, I think it's like 20 gig, a, a, a little bit less than that, maybe about 15 gig per show that we do. So oh, I'm, pro huh. I'm producing quite a bit of 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 data just from the podcasting. So my main server is getting full. Uh, Unraid was getting fairly full, and so I started dumping some files off of it, too. But the, the, So you see all these drives. that I still have drive bays at Norco 4 to 20 I can add in. So I can add in even more even more drives. What I'd probably do is start replacing some of those one terabyte drives. So, yeah. Wow. But so you know, the, oh, go ahead. The, well, the cool thing you're seeing there is they're not all the same drive size. The parity does need to be equal to or larger than the largest drive in the parity. So my largest drive in this whole thing is two terabyte. So my parity drive has to be at least two terabyte because it's protecting the entire array. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Can can that run? Could you get that? Is it 64 or 32 bit? Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's 32 bit right now. It's 32 bit. So it would run on a uh, EX47. Yeah. And I think I think uh, the. It has when you go to buy this. There's, there's, I think three. If when I bought it, there were three different plans. I think the first one is like a three or four drive plan, which was free. Then there's like a nine drive or six drive or whatever it was. I can't remember which was one price. And I bought the, the biggest plan, which I think is 20 drives or something like that, which is the maximum you can protect. So Ken, you might want to check that out. Uh, Ken was asking about that if it would run on an EX47. I want to check that out. That the free version might work on the 47. Yeah, and if you're wanting blazing fast, this is not where you go. Not the way it's, to go. It's, it especially if you're. I would recommend you putting in a cache drive will help you out um, from a speed standpoint because you go right to the cache first. That's unprotected, so you don't want to leave stuff on the cache for very long. I have a a schedule that I'll take it off of there, but it um. And I, I can't watch chat as I have this up. So no, uh, well, let me ask you: Are, they, are those have. drives readable as uh, in another machine if the hardware yes. does? Yeah, I don't. Um, I think it's written in a Linux with Linux, so you'd have to read it with a, a Linux um, system. But it is readable. So the the drives are not uh, not uh, spanned. So if you were to, you know, you you can move uh, single files. I have. Let's see if I can go back to that. So something. I'm going to go to another thing here for for a second. Um, utilities. I have had drives where they fill up. There's a ways you can tell it, like low watermark, where it's going to tell it to put. Um, I'm not seeing what I wanted to see there. Settings, maybe. Where you can tell it put the files in the drive with the most amount of space. But because I've added drives at different times, some drives have gotten full, more full than others. Now I'm not finding what I want to find here. Crap. Uh, so I have manually moved some because you can log in and I can see the shares and I can also see the um, – where I'm, I've got a new dashboard now. I don't know where everything is. All right, we're, we're going to have to forget that. <laughs> Ray operation? No. Ray devices? Anyway, you can't tell very well here, but I have some of these that are pretty full, like this uh, two terabyte drive. It's got 1.88 terabyte RDU, so it's pretty full. So that's disk 10. 
I could move files off of disk 10 and onto, you know, disk 13, which still has a lot of rooms on it. I can move files off of that. How, how much RAM on that box? I think there's four gig of RAM on this box. And how much do you think it needs? Um, so EX 47s probably came with two or four gig. Oh, I think I think it would definitely run with that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ken's asking those questions. Especially if you're not having as much as much as many drives as I have. 